I think it does. Oh, man. So we're going to scoop this into our bowl. And we're going we're gonna to decorate it. Next time I want to use more cocoa powder, I want it darker, right? So much elegance. <laughs> Need my plating spoon here. So now it looks like a pile of dog poop, but with a simple use of a beautiful kind of flatted spoon. We'll go ahead and we'll start making our grooves. See how I'm spinning the bowl and it's giving us different texture? Huh? That's some chef ass shit right there. Oh, Haley, I'm glad to. I'm glad I, <laughs> I'm glad I can, uh, I'm glad I could make your day a little bit better. Let's get our garnishes. Let's get our garnishes. How about shredded coconut? How about choco chips? How about a fresh banana? How about Savannah Starlight gifting a sub to her friend Haley? I think some granola. Some hemp seeds, some chia seeds. I have Crohn's disease. I gotta start taking care of my health. That's also a reason I need to move to a big city. They offer health insurance for their restaurant employees and cooks. Whereas cities where I like I live in, they oh, do not. You didn't know. Your ass better come Mr. Zeb sub hype. Three Twitch babies. Let's go. Attempting that hype train again. Here we go. First thing we're gonna do is slice up a man. Need the M&Ms. Great varnish. Slice up the banana. Hey, you guys been out drinking all night? Bananas, best thing for your hangover, right? Just the potassium. Cut some thin, cut some thick. Bougie salty. All right, Haley, thank you for stopping by. We're just gonna kind of layer these around the outside, around the outside, around the outside. I am not a food stylist. Haley, thank you for the bits. So I gotta work on my presentation skills. They're not great. Salty, this looks really good. Thank you, my friend. How are you today? We're gonna go about halfway. Now, I want to, I want to alternate light to dark, light to dark, light to dark, textures, smooth, bold, rich, All right? So next, we got light, let's do some dark. It really is, like presentation is like where you make the money. Right? You can go to restaurants and the food is good, that's great and all, but if it looks like shit, it's not like a, it doesn't make the, it doesn't make the, the experience good, a good one. Plus, if your food looks good, check this out. This is what I'm saying. Twinderella, welcome to the stream. How are you? If your food looks good, it's not any more difficult to make food look good than it is to make it look shitty. You just have to change the way that you operate and do it the right way quickly. And eventually you get there, right? If the first thing people do is take out their phone and take a picture when the food hits the, uh, hits the table, your money, because that's free advertising, right? I'm good, ready for brunch, Twinderella. Right now we are plating up our chocolate, banana, peanut butter smoothie bowl which I will be using for my food photography class. That's the reason we're making this. Also, uh, because I want to eat a chocolate, banana, peanut butter smoothie bowl, because it sounds fucking awesome. And it's healthy, right? It's healthy. We didn't use like a milk base. We used a little bit of milk to thin it out, but it's frozen bananas and cocoa powder. 
right? Now the garnishes, not all that healthy. Not all that healthy. I say we go with a little bit of coconut flake now. Tiny bit, add some texture. Uh, let's see what else. Took some notes about this. Uh, what about like peanuts? We got peanut butter. Why not some peanuts? Do I have peanuts? Damn, I do. Your, uh, on your photography photo, make sure you make a smiley face. Yeah. <laughs> pretzels for texture. I would fuck with some pretzels on here. I got some like cocktail peanuts that I'm just gonna kind of sprinkle in the middle. Not chopped or anything, just a few. And I just think some like granola. Put canara on it for texture. I love me some canara. Well, good morning. <laughs> okay, a little bit of granola, just kind of all over the place. And then I think, hey, do we want this to appeal to like the hipsters out there too? Yeah. I got some hemp seed for texture around the outside, maybe on top of our bananas here. Hemp seed. Am I going to get stoned? Probably not. Good for protein. And then some chia seeds. Can't get my hand in the bag. It's too big. I think that's it. I think that's our breakfast. Honey would be nice for like a nice sheen, right? I think that's our chocolate breakfast, our smoothie bowl. What do you guys think? I think it looks pretty damn good. I think I did a good job. Healthy breakfast, $14 in Portland, Oregon, right? I'll charge you guys only $7. I'll only charge you guys $7 because I love you. Acceptable. Annie, if Annie J says what I do is acceptable, that means it's like Michelin quality, right? Do I deliver? I mean, for a price, I'll deliver anything anywhere, right? Salty, I live in Los Angeles. I want to eat your pizzas. Okay. How many pizzas do you want? It's a dollar per pizza. That's it. Uh, Three dollars per pizza. But the delivery fee, 2,500 bucks, right? Oh, I'm sorry, Ringo. I was going to regurgitate and give you some, but I'm on camera. I think this looks good. What do you guys think? What can I do differently for my photo? For class. I think I'm gonna chop the peanuts. That's it. Yep, exactly, Savannah. Yep. Alright, let's get Ringo some banana. Toast the coconut, good idea. Good idea. Pop a color. I like it. Yeah. We love Ringo! Don't forget, guys. Exclamation point jackpot for Ringo Boy. The rest of the stream, every J-A-C-K-P-O-T, Ringo gets a piece of banana. He's loving it. All right, so we'll chop the nuts. Confirm. Oh, he didn't like banana. Here you go. Here you go. Never mind, he didn't like banana. Ringo, here. Oh, never mind, he liked it. Hi, <laughs> right, bud. Come here, can I have a hug? Doing? Eating that banana? All right, go lay down. I gotta cook. Pancake time! Yet it is. There we have it. I think it's a pretty good first attempt. We'll chop the nuts. We'll chop the nuts. Alexander Online, welcome to the stream. What berry would be nicest? Oh, yeah. Maybe some berries in there. Just like a. I don't know, but it just doesn't fit. It feels. Now, hear me out. Hear me out. I would always say, wow, this needs color. But in food photography, there's something called like monochromatic, where things are just all one shade, all one color, like really similar hues. And I realized all my life that trying to make things too contrasting made it look just too forced and not natural. So the whole point of this was to do is monochromatic, where it's just like, okay, it's brown, it's tan, it's white, it's yellow. It's got that same color palette, right? So I can do it for you guys here, but for my class, it would fail me, right? Raspberry and chocolate go together great. I have raspberries in the fridge. 
right? Maybe mint would be okay. For the class, I'm not gonna put it in because it's supposed to be like this. But I think for the stream, it would be, it would be fine. I do colorful photos, right? You guys have seen my pictures. I do colorful. That's kind of what I do. But to go to the next level, you really wanna be able to do things that are a little more elegant, right? These are bright, they're fun, they're energetic. Sometimes though, you need to monotone it. You gotta make it look elegant, right? Gotta make it look elegant. That's where the money is. The restaurants that are elegant and high class that have all the money, hire me, please. In two years, I'll be good enough in two years, right? I will. Let's take a test picture and then we're gonna move on to our lemon blueberry ricotta pancakes. Let's have a sip of our espresso and our waffle. Cheers to all of you. Pinkies out, bitches. <laughs> bitches. Como estas, bitches? We got ourselves a port. Put our stuff away. I'm gonna work clean today. Finally, a food worth eating. What, a waffle? Yes, yes, Linderella. There's nothing wrong with that. Because the ingredients together are contrasting, right? They're on different sides of the color wheel. If I were to just take a berry here or mint, it has no bearing on the dish. It's not part of it. It doesn't add to the dish, right? So it would just feel like a forced use of color. Not that there's anything wrong with that, right? But that's just not the lesson that I'm in this week. Always gotta have the pinky out steps, right? It has no burying on this dish. I love me some pomegranate. I have some ideas for pomegranate, but I can't find it here. I can never find it here. Raisins probably would be okay. I don't think it needs anything. I'm gonna take a cell phone picture, which I can't stand, but we're gonna try taking one here as uh, like a little preview. Looks good. It's nice, it's balanced, right? This thing is not focusing again. Whatever, get out of here. So I'm gonna make a second one after the stream today and we'll really fine tune it. And then you guys can check out my photos and critique them, right? Constructive criticism, check me out on Instagram at, hey, it's me Salty, right? <laughs> at the drive-in says my favorite color is raisin. Who remembers the TV show, California Raisin? All right, let's get a move on. It's time to make some pancakes. Check Salty out, Annie J, thank you. If you guys need me to do more spinning around, right? Just tell me to go wash something. Washing my knives, just chill. You gotta wash your knives when you're done. Always. My knees hurt, so I gotta lean up for a little bit of support here. All right. Oh man, I'm getting old. Oof. Oh, you guys. All right, let's make some pancakes. I missed the uni stream, but I was pleased to see the pizzas came out awesome. They were fantastic. They were great. Grab your ankles. You guys are terrible. You guys are terrible, but I love you. I'm gonna put this in the freezer. Maybe I can actually just use this one. If I put it in the freezer, maybe it'll just last enough to use it. By the way, I think we get, I need, I think we need a, we need to get a real MVP board, maybe for right over here. I miss writing all your names for all the hype on the MVP board, right? We gotta get it. Feel naked without it. Glad they're back to making pizzas, Kanara. I'm so happy. 
Are you guys down for another pizza stream this week? I'm thinking Wednesday. Or do you just want to do pizza Fridays, right? Pizza Fridays. Every Friday, uni pizza stream. To kick off the weekend. Saturdays will take off, maybe do some gaming streams. I don't want to do back-to-back -back streams anymore because with work and trying to plan for a move and, I can't, and, and being in photography classes and trying to work on my photography, um, I kind of want to space things out. I don't want to burn out. Obviously, we made a comeback from streaming after Laura and I split and I moved. Well, I kind of rushed back into it. I overdid it and I burn out real fast. I don't want to do that. So maybe Friday pizza streams, right? Saturday, maybe some gaming. Sunday morning brunch. Salty's Sunday brunch or Sunday brunch with Hey, It's Me Salty, right? I showed my wife the pictures of your pizzas last night and told her how much I needed the oven. You guys need any links for Uni Pizza Ovens? Let me know. I, get a, I do get a kickback. I'm transparent about that. I do make commissions. So let me know. Salty Sunday brunch, right? He rolled his eyes and pointed at my knives. Do you know how much money I've spent because of you, Salty? Mr. Twinderella, I am so sorry. But, big props to Big props to Twinderella. Find the good stuff. When do you read us bedtime stories? I, I would like to start coming up with sub goals. And it can be anything that you guys want. So like right now, our next sub goal would be 200, right? We've taken essentially four of the last five and a half months off from streaming. We're starting over fresh. What should our 200 sub goal be? And then we'll put it up there. And it doesn't have to be food. It can be Salty Reads Bedtime Stories. It can be Salty Tries to Paint a Picture. It can be whatever you guys want. No Beard Kid, what inspired you to start streaming? I started streaming nine years ago, gaming. Um, I got really drunk one night and I thought Twitch was like really cool. And then I woke up like three or four days later and I had a PlayStation 4 and a camera and a headset and then I started streaming. Whoa. Google Home is Salty's One Chip Challenge. That's gotta be uh, that's gotta be up there. Hey, when we're starting out at 200 subs, it's gotta be something lower. And then we'll work our way up, right? What's 2,000 subs? The Salty Hot Tub Stream? Right? No Beard Kid, thanks for following. All right, 2000 was the hot tub stream. What are we doing today? Pancakes, pancakes. I got my griddle right here. The one and only amazing Annie J Cat Lady bought me this griddle as a housewarming gift. So a big round of applause for Annie J Cat Lady. <laughs> Start preheating it. Let's get our mise en place together. Floofy pancakes, lemon blueberry ricotta. Oh, what's going on here? Okay. My phone went bonkers. I thought something was going on. Like there was something bad happening. What are we gonna need for this? Where's my recipe? Where's my recipe? Flour, baking soda, baking powder, sugar. Let's do it. Also from Annie J. Cat Lady. Another housewarming gift. Sunrise Flour Mill Flour from the great state of Minnesota. You know? Sugar. Baking soda. Baking powder. Salt, eggs, room temperature. Eggs, room temperature. Now see the Japanese pancakes? I am not into it. I'm not into poofy pancakes. Not into it. Where the fuck is my salt? Excuse my language. There it is. Pancakes, sign me up, Cass. Let's go. I got, I'm gonna have so many extra pancakes. People were just like, Salty, you have 12 pancakes there. And like, what do you do with all the leftover pancakes? And then I have to go, what leftover pancakes? And then that makes me think and go, there's no such thing as leftover pancakes. I eat them all. 
Cass says I'll take some pancakes. Left. Yeah, Aiden J. Leftover. <laughs> Vanilla extract, the cheap stuff, right? If you have the good stuff, barefoot Contessa over there. If you have the good stuff, go ahead and use it, okay? I'm cooking for one today. Cheap stuff, $2. This says it's Dominican style. You want like Tahitian, Madagascar. You want the stuff that Bucket 5000 makes from the tears of Dutch Virgin Milkmaids. I got the body of 249 for this whole thing. Imitation. Milk, again, half a cup of ricotta. We need lemon, we need blueberries, maple syrup and butter for serving. Let's go get our milk. Lactose free milk. So I can enjoy my day outside of the bathroom. Ricotta cheese, leftover from our pizza making. Yeah, you got it, Cass. Thank you for stopping by. Butter. Let's get it soft, right? Usually we want to get things hard in here because you guys are disgusting perverts. We're going to let some butter soften. Flaccid butter. What else did I say? Lemons? Blueberries can stay in the fridge. Is there alcohol in that vanilla? Yes. Yes, there is alcohol in this vanilla. Now, don't worry. Just because I'm sober, I don't go around drinking vanilla extract. Okay? Right? I'm a recovering addict, but I'm not that bad yet. Yet. Okay? I haven't had any alcohol cravings through this whole process. The only thing I've been craving lately, cigarettes. Badly. <laughs> but I have not given in. I am not, I have not given in. I'm still 16 months without cigarettes. Just when it gets a little too overwhelming for me, I go sit in the corner, 